Hello YouTubers, this is my first video off the computer and um, onto using a real video camera which I just bought. So today for my video I'm going to take this simple robot that I built using a Radio Shack kit and I came up with the idea to maybe put a, a video streamer on it. So I was doing research into video streamers and I I had a Raspberry Pi and I have also the Raspberry Pi camera right here that and I was doing research and there is a streamer for this it's called the MPEG streamer I'm not quite sure who it's by but I'm just going to show you in this video how to add it onto this robot and to how to set up doing to the MPEG streamer so that's it I will go down and show you how to set it up to the robot Okay, so what we need in this video is, of course, the Raspberry Pi camera, some tape, a Phillips screwdriver, two male to female jumper cables, a piece of plastic about the size of the head of the Raspberry Pi camera, knife, scissors, anything you want, Raspberry Pi, two screws, which the size I will have pop up on the screen and of course your robot you will also need two of these connectors that you will connect to the mounting mounting holes next to where you put your screws and you will, in the front you also need to attach one of these a uh, little 90 degree little things where the Raspberry Pi camera is going to sit after you attach those, which I have pre-attached, you will next hook up your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so first you need to grab your Raspberry Pi. With either two mounting, mounting holes placed over the two here. I suggest doing the two, the two, these two right here because there's nothing in the way. Like these two, you have the microphone jack plus the GPIO pins. And all these USB and Ethernet connectors. So that's why we are going to be using this one and this one for the sake of this video. So then, you go over to your robot, go here, and you just take your screws and stick them into your mounting holes. Just like so. And you can just easily hand tighten these to make it easier. Then once you have it in, just take a screwdriver, of course screw it down. These may fit, feel a little tight, but they will fit without breaking your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I already have one in. Next, I'm going to put in the next one. As you can see, I've finished putting in both screws and it is ready to be put onto the robot. Okay, now we are going to attach the two screws we just put into the Raspberry Pi onto the two connectors. So by taking out our IR sensor for our remote control, which is optional, you may not have that, you then screw down your Raspberry Pi, just like I am doing. Do not fasten the two tight because this is still an electronic piece that if you fasten it too tight, it can break. Okay, so it is all hooked up. Now the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins send out electricity to wherever you need to go. They can also take 
inside electricity, just as your Arduino can for this pro project. So we are going to take power from our Arduino and run it to the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi. That way we do not need to connect it anywhere else. So for that, we will need uh, one and two uh, male to female jumper wires of any color that you want. Next you're going to look on your motor control for the ground and 5 volt connections and hook up the male side of your GPIO pins to them. I have taken and connected them to the motor board. Now we are going to connect them to the Raspberry Pi. I have my orange connected to the ground which is the third pin right here on your Raspberry Pi. Just plug it in just like so. Then my blue is my 5 volt. I will plug that into the first pin right there. Make sure you do not plug it into the 3 volts pin. There will also be a link in the description to a place where you can find what all these pins do. After you have that, you have all the electrical hooked up for your Raspberry Pi. Now it's time to hook up your camera. First, since this camera is a bare board on the back, you do not want any circuit, uh, any electricity to run from one resistor to the next and short out your camera. So you take a piece of plastic and you stick it over the back and then tape it down with some tape. I now taped them all, taped the plastic to the back and made sure no components were hanging out. Next we need to hook it up to our Raspberry Pi. Now you have two connectors. This one is for a LCD display and this one is for a camera. So you first need to pull these two white fasteners up on either end, take the blue side and hook that blue side up towards the audio and the ethernet connector jack. Slide your blue part in, push the two fasteners down. This is what it will look like if you have connected it correctly with the blue side towards the ethernet connector and if you give it a slight tug it won't pop out. If you do pull it too hard it will pop out. Just a tiny bit of force. Next we need to hook our Raspberry Pi up to the front of our robot. To do that you take the Raspberry Pi, doesn't matter what orientation you have it on because with this streamer it doesn't matter which way you have it because you can rotate it. Hold it down and then tape it. This is what it will look like when it's secured down. Make sure you do not cover the lens eye hole with tape. It may make your picture not look as well. You're all done um, setting it up on your robot. This will also help if you have an ethernet uh, if you don't use your ethernet connector and you use your Wi-Fi jack or your Wi-Fi if you buy a Wi-Fi connector. I got this one off of Amazon for about five dollars from the Pi Hut. It takes 800, uh, 802.11n internet which is fine for mine and 2.4 gigahertz. Lastly, take your IR sensor for your remote and hook it up to the three little jacks there. It, it will look a little crooked but all the pins should fit perfectly. Now we're on to the computer and setting this up on the computer. Okay, so for this sake of this video, I have already set up the server. Um, so first what you want to do is you want to power up your Raspberry Pi by either plugging it in or turning on your robot. Next, you want to look for a terminal. And you also need to know the IP of your Raspberry Pi robot. So if you're using a Wi-Fi jack, then you look into your Wi-Fi router and you find it. It should be labeled Raspberry Pi. If you're using an Ethernet con connector, I wouldn't suggest this for this video or for this project because you, you're robot does not have as much free access. 
So first, then you do either remote connection, go to uh, secure shell, and then you type in the IP, or you can just do SSH username at the IP, click enter. Type in the password, which is Raspberry. Now you're in using your um, using terminal or any SSH program. I have typed up this little uh, thing for you. So first what you need to do is you need to just copy and paste this in. And remember guys, this is already set up. This is not how to get it. Then of course, you're, for this part, my number is dash 183, yours may be different. So to check, you type in ls. And then as you can see here, mine is 182 right here. But yours may, be, may numbers be different, so I would suggest fixing them on here. But since mine's not, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. I skipped this step, sorry guys. Copy this, CD, and then you just paste that in. Every step after this is the same. So I just want to fix that on here before I upload this guy to this to you. It should be the same, but it could also be different. This every part after this is now the same. Then you just go CD into that. Okay. Now you're in here. Since mine's already done, again, guys, I can't say this enough times. This is not how to get the program. This is just how to set it up if it's already been downloading, uh, downloaded. I will do a video in the description on how to set this streamer up within a couple of days. So then copy this first part. Paste that in. Then see here. You hit control C and then copy this raspy still. And then the way you could tell if it's working, it should say skipping frames. Another way you could tell if it's working um, is by going here and by typing in your IP and adding a dot eighty eighty at the end, just like this. Then as you go to stream, it should be right now faced at me. It is a little laggy, sorry guys. And if I just go like this, I can rotate it. And as you can see, you can see me. So then you can control your robot from basically anywhere to stop it. You just hit uh, control C like that. Then if you go back on it, onto your server your server should still be running but your stream shouldn't be okay so then just to stop your stream exit there you go um okay yep so that's basically how you run it if you're done you can just unplug it um so guys that is how you set up a radio shack robot to be a stream with the raspberry pi thank you guys for watching it's G Timber 22 signing out.